one second, plenty of time to make a throw. He's going to basically just have to pick a spot on the field and throw to it. Chuck, you might remember Taylor Casino. He won championships with Condors, Jam, and Revolver. The two San Francisco teams in there. Kurt trying to do something unprecedented. Nathan White, the perfect guy for the mark. Just stuffs that around attempt from Jared Nelson. Holy smokes. That's Ironside's first turnover since the score was two to one. Oh, goodness. Huge collision between Gibson and White. Gibson's the kind of, or uh, White rather, is the kind of guy when there's a collision. So here's one second to throw. Nate White knows he's going to throw the around. Look at that reach from White. And now I believe Kirk Gibson and Nathan White involved in some contact. Kirk Gibson hit the hit the turf. Okay, so you call a foul. This is where you are. Because you couldn't affect that play, so stay in there. Mitch Dengler sorts it out. George Stubbs with space. Backhand, backhand, backhand. Great D. To prevent the goal to Lucas Dahlman. Inselman was marking George Dubs. Rasmussen wraps it around. White makes the catch. It's a goal, and Revolver has the upper hand again. And the captain, Nathan White, with a big point, gets the point block to generate that first turn after a great stand from the Revolver D line, and then the around from Cassidy Rasmussen through the contact. Watch this backhand from Cassidy. Throws through contact from Will Neff. And it looked like Kurt was going to get this. I'm not so sure Kurt couldn't have gotten that. Chose not to bid. But watch Kurt. He gets the first beat on it. And Nathan White uses that length twice in this point. Once for a point block, once for a layout goal, and they really needed that. That was an amazing 